Hello everyone, welcome back to Alone in the Dark. Last time we started off at the top of the mansion in the attic, went down through a few stories, saw some freaky things, and ended up in the kitchen basically. A little worse for where Edward is down to 6 health as you can see, but I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try, try being the operative word, to be careful until I inevitably break down and use a first aid case. I'm really hoping there's going to be more than one in the game, as I've said before. Uh, looking back at what I did last time, I have a few ideas on where to go and what to do. But as we retrace our steps, I'll do so. For the time being, there's unexplored avenues of exploration to come across. So let's go ahead and see what awaits us. Actually... I forgot to take the matchbook, matchbox, I think, in this, in these covers over here. Yeah, I will take it this time. And I think we can interact with this as well. Pot of soup, but we can't take it yet. Okay, we'll come back for the soup if we need it for whatever reason. Given this game's nature of utter strangeness, we probably will need it at some point. Uh, more narrow quarters. Game, why do you have to do this to me? Alrighty, let's see what's ahead. Whoa. Lots of zombies. They're not moving. They don't seem to be moving their heads around either, so we're going to ignore them for the time being. Oh, this just wraps around back to the entryway, I suppose. So let's take a look back in that room for a second. See if there's anything that stands out. It's a dinner table, a dinner room, or a... Is that another fireplace? Man, this house has a lot of fireplaces. A uh, dinner table with plates, it looks like... Wine glasses I can barely make out, but I just got an idea. There's a bowl of soup, there's a room full of zombies not doing anything, and a dinner table. So if we put one to one and one together, that should tell us something about the nature of this soup. Oh, why, do, why am I still carrying the shoebox? Uh, let me go drop something off. Drop the shoebox off over here. Right underneath the window. <sighs> Edward, you're so finicky with where you put stuff. And hopefully this will be enough room for this. Nah, that was a little too optimistic on my part. Well, we only have to temporarily drop something, so... Hmm. I don't think we need this for the time being. Uh, this floor is becoming a minefield of interactivity, so I better watch out. Back to the soup. Oh man, we really need to get rid of some crap. Hmm. We'll come back for this in a bit. I wonder if this is taking up more space than the size indicates just because of the fact that it's heavy. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see if my hunch turns out to be correct. But before we do that, of course, we're going to save. Whoa, 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 Edward, watch out.
creepy. Uh, um, um. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this guy is still, still aggressive. Oh, or not. Okay, he just wanted to take his seat. That's cool. We're fine with that. As long as they do any don't do anything, the battle music can play for all I care. Oh, I wonder if that guy was guarding this door over here. And I wonder if attacking him would have set off all the other zombies and if that's the case, that would have been tragic. Why did smoke just randomly start coming out of that ashtray? <coughs> oh, crap. Whoa, one health. No, nope, that is unacceptable. Sorry about this, folks, but I can't afford to be taking five damage from weird tentacle creatures and random smoke. So let's get that hard soup put down again. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Oh, Edward, get out of the zombies away. He just wants to sit down. As before... We we're going to save before we head into this death trap. And uh, I believe I saw a lighter on the table, so I'm going to hurry up and get that. Okay. Back up, back up, back up. Is there anywhere else to go? Is there anywhere else to go? Whoa! I think we're about to die. Where does this lead? Oh, this looks vaguely familiar. And judging by the pane of glass on top, that looks like the exit. But we're... God, God damn it, one health again. Whoa, okay, everything's just starting to want to kill us already. Well, not already, but everything is exploded basically at the start of this session, so some dude with a saber over there. <sighs> okay, grabbing the lighter. Oh, grab the lighter, excuse me. But we're going to skip that room for the time being. Or actually, I don't think we ever need to go in there again. Because we can, I think we can head to the other room that we the old guy with the saber if we need to. Yeah. It's over here. But... Um, my health is so low, I don't really have the luxury of screwing around with, with Edward's health. Dude with a, like I said, guy with a saber. Edward, run! Edward, run! Uh, uh, well, that's all right. I just wanted to see if I could run around him to that door over there. Or I didn't see the door until we got over there, but I wanted to head around him basically. So let me try that again. I'll try it two more times, and if it doesn't work out, I'm guessing we need to fight that guy. Let's see if I can lure him over here. 
Nope, this guy is just too fast. Way too fast for our, our clunky tank control ass. I'm only... I'm only poking fun of the controls. I really don't mind tank controls, to tell you the truth. And it was actually semi-hinted at or suggested by someone I know that I should use a controller. And I might try and do that for future sessions. But actually, I want to beat the game with just the keyboard, if, if at all possible. Go, go, Edward. Go, go, go. Uh, no dice. Ooh, Edward's got mad skills this time around. Didn't get hit once. Okay, I'm assuming that we're going to have to stop and take our time to use the key, so we probably will have to fight and kill that guy, or kill that guy again, depending on the nature of his... his uh, bleh, depending on the nature of his existence, again. So let's try and find a key, try to find something. I'm having memory loss again. I can't tell if I wasn't here already, but uh, I don't. Mm, I don't think so. Oh! 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 Uh, six damage from grazing a spider. Really? Although, I might have been hit by multiple spiders, and I didn't know it. Well, wait a second. That statue... That statue with the... The four-legged creature, I can't tell if it's a deer or an antelope, whatever. But it looks like... Well, there was a story earlier, that story about... Perseus going to fight the Medusa and he mentions Artemis and if I'm willing to bet that there's a Greek theme in this mansion that is probably Artemis the goddess of the hunt, archery and all that good stuff uh, and funnily enough we did we still have, yeah we did pick up a bow earlier so I'm wondering if in later survival horror game fashion we have to Put the bow on the statue. I'm gonna go ahead and try that really quick. Use? No. Okay. Scratch that idea. Actually, maybe I have to be in the right position to do this. Are the spider's gonna come. Huh, I wonder... Maybe we have to take the arrows first. Uh, but once we take the arrows, those spiders are gonna drop really quickly. Huh. Okay, let me just try that for a sec. Let me just try that really quick. Okay, scary music plays. The spiders are going to drop any second now. Okay, we're dead. And to add insult to injury, we didn't even see Edward collapse to the floor. We only saw him crumple halfway. Thanks to the camera angle and... Uh, maybe I'm just supposed to take the arrows and run? I don't know. Really quickly, where does this door lead? I have an idea of where it does. Uh, scratch that. Again, I can't remember if I was in here last time. My memory is sucking that badly. And I can't tell if those are statues... People molded into statues, or... Spirits, but I'm not gonna touch them. It looks like there's something behind them. I'm, I'm just speculating because it stands out compared to the rest of the scenery. So we'll probably have to pick that up at some point. Wait a second. 
second. I don't know, Edward, get, get, into, get more into the middle of the room. Or at least closer to the door. We have a gramophone, I believe. Yes, we do. I'm wondering if we can combine it with the record. Well, it says something about dislike. Disliking the music? Uh, can we turn it off? Can we turn this off? Mm, nothing there. They seem to dislike this music. You listen to the Blue Dan- Oh, yeah, the Blue Danube. I know the song, but I don't always remember the title, although I remembered it more ever since I learned the official title, but that's all rather academic or superfluous at this point because... How do I turn off the gramophone? Throw? Throw the gramophone? That's one durable gramophone, but... Break. Did I break it? Really? No, nope, that's a durable record. <sighs> Don't tell me that it's going to keep playing this music for the remainder of the game. Let's take a look in here. I don't think I saw anything on the other side, but let me just double check. Locked door. Came that way. You really need to get the running mechanics down. There's a locked door over there. Door we came in and then there's this door. Which is locked. Yeah, I should have used the key earlier on a few other doors we came across, but... Okay, that's really weird now. I mean, not creepy, but just weird how the music keeps playing indefinitely. No, not the knife. Yeah. Nope. Apparently not. Well, I'm guessing, right, that we'll have... Because the... Whatever they are dislike the music, we're going to find something they do like, so I'm guessing I don't need to tote the gramophone around throughout the entire mansion. At least, not until we figure out how it's used here, so I'm just going to leave both these items here and hopefully the music will not... Oh. Yeah, that's cool. There we go. I'll come back here later. And there are the arrows on that statue, which I suppose I can always get if I really want to start getting my Indian on. Native American, sorry. Uh, well, the key work here... It does. Back up. Kind of cellar. Wine cellar? Wine racks? Okay, can't go. What the hell is that? <gasps> Holy shit! Uh, it does one damage. Okay, it does another one damage. Kick. Well, you should be dead, you gerbil little whatever the hell you are. <laughs> Edward, run. Okay, Edward, walk at a brisk pace. Edward! Edward! Okay, finally he decides to start running. There's more than one of these creatures. And these look very polygonal. Oh, can we move it? 
Okay. Oh, okay. That's cool. Not sure I like going into a dark hole that's half Edward's height, but... Yeah, I'm going to restart this area, but... But let me quickly take a look at what's in the hole. If we need to come back, we will. Otherwise, I'm going to steer clear of here. Oh. Uh, did we just step into HR Giger? What the hell is that? A dragon! Holy shit, Edward, get out of here. Edward, get out! Yeah, I also felt... Ri no, 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 Edward, no! Get the hell out of my way, whatever, the, whatever you are. Oh, this is just dement... This is just daft right here. Getting pushed back into the hole. You know what? No, 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 no. You know, we're gonna die anyhow, so I, we might as well see what that thing does. We might as well get a new... Or... We might as well go with the standard death animation. Uh. Oh no. Why is the music playing again? Maybe it'll stop eventually. But I'm just gonna run back there because now my human curiosity is overriding my good sense. I want to see what that thing is. And actually, I should be searching around a little bit while I'm here. Run, run! Ooh, bullets. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to run next time, grab those, and move on. I'm not seeing much of anything else we can interact with, other than that block, this block, and those bullets we just found. Okay, go in the hole. At least I'm feeling kind of suicidal at the moment. Negative 45. I was going to take out my revolver and dirty Harry that son of a... But... It did 51 damage, I think. 51? 50 damage, maybe? Yeah. We're getting our revenge. Actually, I'm going to try to grab the bullets, run back up, and save. So we don't have to grab them every time we come back down here. Getting past whatever those little things are. They look, they look a little bit like rats, but they don't really sound like rats. And again, it is an early 1990s game. Using generic eagle sound must have been cheaper back then. Okay, we're taking a wide loop around because we don't want to touch what... Oh, a third one. We don't want to touch whatever the hell they are. Edward... Okay. Thought he was frozen in fear for a second there. Either that or just he just got glitched at the foot of the stairs. Okay, saving. Now let's go back for a little 38 caliber? 38 I'm guessing it's a 38, just like his gun. 38 caliber revenge. Run, run! Okay. Go, 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 go. I got hit by the... What the... What the hell? Oh, my... Oh. The barrel ran over his foot, and he just keeled over and died. Lame. I know to back up next time, or maybe reposition Edward so he doesn't... Run. Run. Yeah, we'll reposition him. Back up. There we go. Yeah, into the hole we go. First. First things first. I 
do we shoot? How do we... I actually should have seen how to fire the gun before doing that. I assumed you just held... You just hold down space and he shoots automatically at whatever's the closest target. Then I started tapping back, but it didn't do anything. Might as well try it right here. Okay. Okay, space bar. Edward gets into a firing stance. Pull, I'm pulling back. Nothing. Forward, nothing. Wait a second. Okay, then forward fires. Just backfire, no. Left. No, left and right just make him rotate like a tank. Okay, there we go. Now I know what to do. This must seem like an, an incredible waste of time to well-versed players of the game. I'm probably not going to kill wherever that thing is, at least with this handgun. But it's the principle of the matter. Then again, for all I know, it could just be an illusion that gets popped when one bullet passes through it. Right, come forward, big ugly. Two, three, four, five. Strangely enough, it hasn't hit me yet. Okay, six shots and it still kills Edward. I did it eat him? I can't tell because of the camera. Although, since his corpse is being dragged, presumably not. Is it? Is this corpse more mangled? Uh, doesn't look like it. Nope, he looks to be rather intact. Okay, we're staying out of the cellar for the time being. Okay, we have a lighter. I'm trying to think of what we can do now. Okay, maybe we have to start a fire here? I don't know. No. Call me crazy, but... Little lamp. Okay, that's for the lamp. Hmm. I'm wondering if we have to shoot that tentacled monstrosity in the bathtub. Because I did, I think I did see an item in there next to another storage compartment. So if going through these places again turns out to be a fruitless endeavor, we will head back to the tentacle creature, I suppose. Or maybe we'll head back to the attic. Because now that I think about it, Edward was ordered to come look at a piano upstairs, and we never really did. We never did search the piano, to be honest. Still have keys? Pretty sure I do. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, there's this old dude in here, right? And I'm wondering if we have to be really formal and challenge him to a sword duel, so let's see about that. Because I'm sure we could shoot him with a revolver, right? And there probably will be another more um, another more powerful weapon in the game. But if there's one thing I've learned from horror, the horror genre in general, is that sometimes you have to play by its rules, however arcane or abstract they may be, or at least appear on the surface. They could very well have their own legitimate reasons for existing. But... Let me see if my theory pans out. Okay, get into a sword fighting stance. Clashing. Uh, it looks like the sword broke. Oh, this is funny. Edward can just parry indefinitely. Okay, 
Okay, we can knock him back a bit. Saber blade, why do we need to... I really shouldn't question this. We could pick up a broken vase earlier, so why not a broken blade? I'm wondering if we have to equip it in our hand. Throw? Oh, that's cool. So we can throw it at him, but I don't know if it actually did anything. It's just a really stubby knife, basically. Whoa. Okay, that was weird. He just laughed when I laughed, or sort of laughed. We have to knock this guy back. I'm wondering if we can even beat him now. Did I have to swing exactly in the right way? I don't know. Um, I'm wondering if I have to swing ex at exactly the right angle or what have you, or stab at him. So I'm going to try. Try that again. Does it break after a set number of parries? I don't know. Ooh, an overhand shot. Virtually invincible as long as you get that blade up in time. Why do I say crap like that? It's the Let's Player's curse. Once we, once we feel the tiny claws of hubris sink into our brain, we just—it seems like fate conspires against us right away. But at least I seem to be on the right track. I wonder if we have to knock him back until he can't defend anymore. Seems like to be it, that seems like something that would happen in, a, in an old pirate film. I'm talking about really old 50s, Arrow, Flynn, etc. Where one pirate or one swashbuckler duels the other to the, uh, the top of a set of stairs or the mizzen mast, what have you, and when the defender can't defend anymore, the, usually the hero delivers a killing blow. Yeah, that doesn't make him back up, it just makes him... And oddly enough, right, the sword does not seem to be breaking anymore. Do I need to... Become an expert sword fighter here and know exactly when to strike because because a sword fighter I am not. I'm gonna give this two more tries and then we're gonna go somewhere else. Basically, back to the tentacle creature. Oh, we actually hit him. Okay, okay, so there is a way to actually hit him. You just have to find a way to get past his guard consistently. I did see that we landed a solid hit, so I know he can be damaged, at the least. I don't know if he can be killed, but he can certainly be damaged. Which gives me hope for the future, but like I said, after this attempt, if I can't get past him, if I can't kill him, then we'll go try something else for the time being. Okay, 
Okay, that was me being overconfident again. And I was going berserk there, holding down the left arrow. Well, and just swinging away without any real strategy. Okay, let's go try something else. One level. Nope, we don't want to go back in there. We'll leave that spirit, I assume, to its rest. And did I ever try opening these doors? I don't believe I did. I believe in the idea of a universal key for this game, but again, it's an old game. Who knows? It could work. Or the designer of the mansion was cutting costs that day. Looking to cut costs by using the same lock. Okay, here we go again, Mr. Ugly. Why do I skip it each time? I think I hit it. I didn't hit anything that time. And Edward's dead. I need to be pinpoint accurate in my facing. Or maybe I just need to run in there and grab whatever that is. Nope, I hit it. I know I'm wasting bullets, I just want to see how many bullets it takes. That's two. Three. Well, I know I'm going to die, but I just want to quickly see if there's anything else in here. Ooh. Nice. So I'm guessing... I didn't see anything else to interact with. I'm guessing that you can exchange one bullet and grab the case and then get the hell out of there. That could be a worthwhile trade. Uh, what I'm going to do though is reload. Grab that jug and then get the hell out of there. Take. Run Edward, run! I get hit? Nope. Fair enough. At least we know there's another first aid case. They're located in the bathrooms, which makes sense. I could try my luck in here, but given that I'm willing to bet the portrait is still chucking tomahawks and we are at such a low health and the tomahawks are heat-seeking, that there's really no point into going back in there until I figure out... No, I don't want to say load, I want to save. There's no point in going back in there until I find some kind of mystical doodad that will protect me from the painting, or at least take it down. I wonder if the lighter can burn it. I'm going to try that. Lighter plus oil? Makes sense, doesn't it? Actually, I left the oil back in another room, but... We're close enough to try and see if the lighter alone will do the job. <sighs> nope. Edward is not canny enough to try that. I think for the time being, we're just going to go, I'm going to take Edward back upstairs and search the piano because I'm fresh out of ideas at the moment. 
until I master sword fighting, I don't think tackling Mr. Bluebeard is a good idea. Good to see that the demons haven't returned. Maybe we'll find the right neck the right record we need to placate those dancing spirits. Ballroom spirits. I really need to learn how to run consistently. this? Yes, we can. What? Wait a second. There is, I think, a, can yeah, a candle holder there and a candle. Can we... Nope. Alright, so much for that idea. Is there anything else over here on these bookshelves that we can take? I doubt it, but it doesn't hurt to check. Nah, never mind. Nothing here. No, I think we've tapped this attic of all its resources. We could rock the seesaw, the horse. Horse saw? Horse seesaw? I'm not sure. Rocking horse, probably. Uh, what could the, the jug? Hmm. I wonder if we have to put the jug alongside that pot of soup. Like, I can't think of any. Then again, there was a barrel full of water in the kitchen, wasn't there? Huh. Okay. Maybe we have to fill the jug up with water and then put it next to the soup? Worth a shot. There we go. Oh. Don't want to go too far to the left. I wonder why Infogrames didn't just include a run button. That again, might, might have been too much for PC gamers of the time. I'm not sure. Alright, back to the kitchen we go. Watch out for the items on the floor. Let's get into that little pantry cupboard with the caviar. Then again, hmm, is there anywhere we can use a statuette at? I can't think of anywhere for the moment. I suppose it'll be somewhat obvious once we do. Okay, good to know at least I'm halfway right. The jug is now filled. Now as to what we need to do with the jug, I'm not sure. And there's that key in that room. I wonder if that this key over here is going to be used for more than one room. I might as well take it for the time being. Uh, the chess key. Yeah. Let's see if we need to. Then again, maybe we need to use... Ah, okay. If this doesn't work, I'm guessing the other thing I have in mind will work, but let me see if my dining room plan uh, 
is a go. Okay, we can eat, drink. I wonder if it restores health, but let's save before trying that. I'm guessing it's dirty, but... Ooh, nice. Swallowing sound effect. Did we lose any health? No, but it is now empty. Okay. I had an idea that the water would be dirty. Water check. Okay. Now maybe, right, maybe we can use it here. to think it gives us more time to get to this door and fiddle around with stuff but I don't think we have the key yeah I don't think these are going to work but now we have another somewhat safe sanctuary relatively safe anyhow so I'm, I'm going to dump some keys in the room where we need a key. Yeah, we don't need to walk up. We don't need to go over here, I believe. So, leaving the keys there should be fine. I shouldn't ever run into them again. I examined this earlier, but I just want to be doubly sure. Oh! Ooh! That was quite a find. The werewolf agrees. And I'm willing to bet that record is just where we need to placate those spirits. The ballroom spirits. But we did get a book, so... Before we get to that... Before we get to our ballroom antics, let's listen to more Alone in the Dark narration. Memories by Alistair Boliskin. Printed in London, A. Machen, editor, 1833. It was during a conversation with G that one first heard of the New England fishing village of I. The area was apparently the ideal place from which to witness unusual phenomena in space. The quality of the air, along with the conjunction of several favorable factors, made one impatient to get started. Having gleaned what information one could from the British Museum, one set off with all haste. One's work on space and comets in particular had met with a warm response, and one thought it judicious to include several original sketches of the phenomenon, sketches which one felt were sure to arouse a great deal of keen interest in the scientific circles of 1834. One refers naturally to the passage of Halley's Comet. Editor's note, Lord Boliskin's memoirs end at this point. Who knows what extraordinary contributions he might still have made had he not succumbed during his visit to New England to dementia, followed by an early death in St. Andrew's Hospital. Hmm, interesting. I'm seeing more and more of these H.P. Lovecraft connections that I've heard about prior to actually playing the game. I'm not too big a fan of the man, but... If he did, if his works did partly inspire this game, I guess I can't fault everything he does too hard. Anyhow, with that out of the way, let's go here and play some... Actually, I should examine... Can I even examine that record before we put it in? Because I'm curious. Nope. I guess I have to use a gramophone with it, or in conjunction with it. 
before finding out exactly what's being used. Well, let's save, because for all I know, I've picked up a dummy, uh, a decoy record that's going to anger these spirits. Postumus Opus 69, number one. I didn't see anything about angry, so are they okay with this? Are they neutral to it? Indifferent? Who knows? Hmm. Do I need to move it closer to them? Nothing has happened. I assume they're just going to move out of the way of whatever that item is. Chopin. Chopin's Posthumous Opus 69, number one. Okay. Maybe we have to put it here. They seem to dislike this. These are some really finicky elite, so... Then again, I wonder if the developers want to play with the technology they had available at the time and put on all these classical pieces of music for the player to listen to and if that's the case I can understand that it was it must have been an exciting time for PC development huh, but that still doesn't get us any closer to whatever they have damn Edward you can throw really far to be in the Olympics the discus on the discus throwing team. Huh. Well, that's a bust. But I'm sure no. Nah, I'm sure the right record is in this mansion somewhere. All we need to do is be determined enough to find it, and we will. Try one more time to put, give her the bow. Ooh. Well, at least Edward has enough sense not to twang the. to, um. Let the bowstring go without any arrow. It's very damaging. Or, or am I thinking of cocking the hammer back on a gun? I'm not sure. <laughs> Excuse me. I almost sneezed there. Uh. Throw? Take it. No. Maybe we all maybe all we're supposed to do is just take arrows from that thing. But then the spiders come and I assume they're gonna be a pain in the butt if you're trying to cross in and out of here until you unlock that other door on the on the other side of the ballroom. I'm I'm a little stumped now on what to do. I guess we have to become masters of sword fighting after all. I guess so. Although I don't know what killing him is going to do other than give us the opportunity to use a door without being molested by him. But Maybe he'll drop a key. I don't know. Alright, let's try again. Yeah, he's canny enough. He is skilled enough to back up when you do that overhand chop. I guess you have to lower his guard somehow. As a peg line. <clears throat> okay, so 
it seems like he'll block the overhand chop, at least until you get past his guard, because all it does is push him back, and he doesn't seem to take any visible damage. Or rather, the game doesn't indicate that he's taking damage until you get past his guard, but I'm not sure how to do that. I wish I was paying better attention to this one. Chop, chop, and keep the thing against that uh, if you just keep chopping. Oh, he actually hit me. I really wish. Th uh, then again, maybe there is a book somewhere in the mansion that talks about proper sword fighting techniques, and I missed it. Because I am stumped on how to lower this guy's guard. Is that a book over there? Yeah, it looks like a book. I just realized that too, next to the paintings. Which I presume those are paintings. And there's a wash bucket there. Don't tell me that we have to throw the bucket across the floor and have him step in with his good foot. That seems kind of silly, even by this game standards. Ah, there we go. When he strikes from one side, you strike from, from the other. Do we need to get a new saber? Or is that random? It didn't seem random. It seems like once you do enough solid damage, the saber will break. you now, buddy. We need to strike from the opposite direction. You're swinging. I seem. I assume. Uh, it did work last time. Let's see if I can repeat those results. I will say one thing for this game's combat system, you really need to be aware of, what, of what's going on in battle, the enemy's precise movements and their attacks. And kudos to the, kudos to the developers for that, they could have half-assed it. But, there's actually a little, a little thought put into combat in terms of tactics. be careful too because he could get you just as good four hits okay four hits and this guy's down how bad did he hurt oh he looks like he dropped something is it a key it is a key cool okay uh sorry to do this but i want to save what health i have so i'm going to be extra careful this time and see if i can kill him without getting hit. I'm pretty sure I can. I just need to be... I just need to get my reflexes up to snuff. Mm, I should have lured him back into the other corner. It'd be easier to anticipate the swing when he, I mean, when he swings from right, his right. Uh, neutral hit. No, 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 
I can do this. I know I know how to do this. It's just a matter of diligence and patience. Nice to see that he dropped the key. I mean, oh, I'm gonna have to restart this. Uh, it would have been nice just clearing him out of the way so I could go about the room at my leisure, but it's nice knowing that there's a, a real tangible reason for doing that. Ah, oh, stupid neutral hits. I really need to rush in there and push him back. So much for rushing in there. Thank you, controls. keep the saber blade I don't think so I'll keep the broken saber it still seems to work as a weapon I'll be at reduced range and let's see let's, let's see can we actually examine the bucket nope let's see what this book over here has to say Get ready for more reading time, folks. See you in a little bit. Demonia Particularis, Signs and Rituals, by Heinrich Cassel, Ring Publications. The ritual of invocation demands that the officiant be pure. We have already described the complex operations to be followed in order to call those that sleep in superior dimensions. We shall, for the present, limit ourselves to the sign of mutual recognition used amongst their number by adepts of the cult of the old ones. The sign also serves as protection when in the presence of a servant of evil. The sign resembles a blessing save that the first and little fingers are both folded beneath the thumb, whilst the second and third fingers are held up. It would appear that this sign has no effect on adepts of a certain rank with knowledge of particular secrets contained in the Corpus Demonicus. The use of such signs is not without considerable risk to the user during any attempt to call upon those from without. So basically, if you throw gang signs, you can ward off evil, or potentially call evil. Let's go, let's go ahead and grab this key. I'm guessing it's going to open this door. I hope it does. So that guy was a kind of gatekeeper of sorts. Ah, that's all it did. Uh, uh, it's not bad, I suppose. And I learned a little something. But it's not as much of a victory as I thought it would be. Hmm, actually, I... Oh, there goes my terrible sense of direction. I really thought it would have opened up the door over... Here, but I suppose not. Uh, no. Is Edward gonna have to throw some gang signs up? I don't know. 
I tried doing what the narrator in the book described and it did not seem all that terrifying to me. Take another sweep of where we've been and see if anything stands out to me. Yeah, wait a second. Shouldn't the key work on that other door as well? Or am I a fool for thinking so? I'm gonna go ahead and try it from this side. Apparently you need another specific key to get to that door. I'd be very surprised if there was one, for whatever reason. Maybe it's just indefinitely locked for the remainder of the game. Or locked for the remainder of the game, basically. Well, we got the bullets from the cellar, and there was that block that revealed a tunnel that led to this weird dragon alien beast that kills Edward in one hit. It hits for massive damage. But... What else can we do? Anything in the kitchen? I don't think so, but... No, there was matches in there. We took the pot. Searched over here for knives. Search in here. A biscuit box. Interesting. How did I miss that? Oh, I was probably ecstatic at finding the key. Um, this is becoming like a Nancy Drew game where everything Edward eats has a 50-50 chance of killing him, getting him sick. Killing him or getting him sick, basically. And rarely does it not do anything harmful. Oh, actually, that restored some health. Cool. And I'm going to guess, right, that the first aid cases restore more health. So I'm going to leave that as is. Leave that restored health as is. And ditch the biscuit box. I said I'm going to ditch the biscuit box. Yeah, there we go. Well, that wasn't a total waste of exploration. But we need to find something worthwhile. So let's go back up one level and see if there's anything, anything at all. <clears throat> Did I miss anything in here? I missed a biscuit box. It's entirely possible I missed something in here. I believe that was just a picture of Jeremy and his niece. Yeah, well, at least I remembered that. But nothing in here, nothing of consequence. to try. Oh, there's that glitch again. Is there anything back in here?
anything under the bed. Uh, I figure it was worth a try. Yeah, you keep trying to be scary. Well, you are scary, but you keep trying to be ineffectively scary. Let's go back in here really quick. Yeah, I thought I could be clever and spam the open search function before Edward puts away the put away the lamp. There is that statue, but I have no idea where he, where to put it. to run to the end of the hallway. I think it's not going to do anything, not going to help Edward out, but really we are, at least I'm running out of ideas on what to do. If I could actually run. Eh. Uh, if I could actually run, maybe I'll get to the end of the hallway and see, maybe I'll see if there's another door or something else to do. I need to actually start running first. What? Whoa! I'm getting tomahawked from one side and shot by arrows from another. Suffice it to say, this is the ultimate death trap so far, so we can't do anything in there for the, mo for the time being. Checked in here, there's nothing there. Nothing in here except for the first aid case, nothing in here. Nothing in the cellar that I could see. I doubt we have to go back upstairs, but... I'm not sure. I'm going to try regardless. Check the rooms one more time. Just to push my luck, I wonder. can't take the mirrors back once you set them down. Oh, I kind of miss the music now. Usually if it's gone for a minute or two, that's fine, but not after five or so minutes. Nope. Love seat, weird love seat bed thing. Mm. Nope, one more room. Nothing in there. And nothing there. Okay. Now things are starting to look a little bleak for the progress of this Let's Play. I haven't had to refer to a guy yet, but... Oh, crap. Watch out. But I'm wondering if it's going to be a necessity before too long. Hmm. 
Hmm. You get the dance hall key. Will it work on this door over here? I doubt it, but might as well try. There we go. Thank you, music. on the floor. I'll be able to open these shutters to the outside. No, I didn't think so. I'm gonna try this. Did I? Yeah, I do have the gramophone. I'm gonna try this new record one more time. Still being the elitist, elitist snobs that they are. Do I need to take these arrows for something? Do I need Do I need to take these arrows so I can shoot the pioneer painting? I'm wondering about that. Uh, I don't really have anything to lose at this point, so I'm just going to say before I try that. Spires always interrupting classical music. Now, will they leave the room? I don't think they will, but... Nah, they're fine to stay in their little garden. Okay, apparently we're gonna try shooting the pioneer painting. That seems like the dumbest thing I've ever said, at least in this last play. Hey, that jug of water trick on that infinitely smoky ashtray of evilness seemed to work, so who knows. You can bet that when Edward and the local kids were playing Cowboys and Indians, Edward was, Edward was definitely the Indian. He seems like the rebel type to me, judging by his opening monologue. Are they just dropping at his feet? Seems like it, but do they disappear into the ether? Video game ether? Yeah, it seems like they do. So I'm not going to pick up the arrows for now. Okay, time to save. Well, we did do quite a few things today, just like yesterday, maybe even a little more, but now it seems like we've hit a roadblock. I have no idea what to do. It seems like the only things to do are, are to placate those spirits, open the door in the room of the ashtray, and or get to the Pioneer Hallway, but I have no idea on what to do. 
I'm probably going to look at a walkthrough eventually, because I'd hate to spend another hour or so stumbling through here fruitlessly just for you guys to watch, but I'll consider my options before I settle on anything too drastic. In any case, that's all for now, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.